चैप्टर फाइव योर्स एवर जूडी जीन वेबस्टर लेट अस रीड सम लेटर्स दैट जेरुशा राइट्स टू डैडी लॉन्ग लेग्स स्मिथ आफ्टर ज्वाइनिंग कॉलेज 215 फैगसन हॉल 1 अक्टूबर डियर डैडी लॉन्ग लेग्स आई लव कॉलेज एंड आई लव यू फॉर सेंडिंग मी आई एम वेरी वेरी हैप्पी एंड सो एक्साइटेड एवरी मोमेंट ऑफ द टाइम that i can scarcely sleep you can't imagine how different it is from the john greer home i never dreamt there was such a place in the world i am feeling sorry for everybody who isn't a girl and who can't come here i am sure the college you attended when you were a boy couldn't have been so nice my room is up in a tower There are three other girls on the same floor of the tower. A senior who is always asking us please to be a little more quiet, and two freshmen named Sally McBride and Julia Rutledge. Pendleton, Sally, has red hair and a turn-up nose and is quite friendly. Julia comes from one of the first families in New York and hasn't noticed me yet. My room is on the northwest corner with two windows and a view. After you have lived in a ward for 18 years with 20 roommates, it is restful to be alone. This is the first chance I've ever had to get acquainted with Jerusha Abbott. I think I'm going to like her. Do you think you are? 19th December. I have a new unbreakable rule. Never never to study at night no matter how many written reviews are coming in the morning instead i read just plain books i have to you know because there are 18 blank years behind me you wouldn't believe daddy what an abyss of ignorance my mind is i am just realizing the depths myself the things that most girls with a properly assorted family and a home and friends and a library no by absorption i have never heard of for example i never read mother goose or david copperfield or ivanhoe or cinderella or blue beard or robinson crusoe or jane eyre or alice in wonderland or a word of rudyard kipling i didn't know that henry 8th was married more than once or that shelly was a poet i didn't know that people used to be monkeys and that the garden of eden was a beautiful myth i didn't know that rls stood for robert louis stevenson or that george eliot was a lady i had never seen a picture of the mona lisa and it's true but you won't believe it i had never heard of sherlock holmes Now I know all of these things and a lot of others besides but you can see how much I need to catch up and oh but it's fun I look forward all day to evening and then I put an engaged on the door and get into my nice red bath robe and furry slippers and pile all the cushions behind me on the couch and light the brass student lamp at my elbow and read and read and read one book isn't enough i have four going at once just now they are tennyson's poems and vanity fair and kipling's plain tales and don't laugh little women i find that i am the only girl in college who wasn't brought up on little women i haven't told anybody though that would stamp me as queer i just quietly went and bought it and the next time somebody mentions pickled lines i'll know what she is talking about 8th april what do you think is my favorite book just now i mean i change every 3 days wuthering heights emily bront was quite young when she wrote it and had never been outside of haworth churchyard she had never known any men in her life How could she imagine a man like Heathcliff? Ow! That was a shriek.
which brought Sally and Julia from across the hall. It was caused by a centipede, just as I had finished the last sentence and was thinking what to say next. Plump! It fell off the ceiling and landed at my side. I tipped two cups off the tea table in trying to get away. Sally wagged it with the back of my hairbrush, which I shall never be able to use again, and killed the front end. But the rear fifty feet ran under the bureau and escaped. This dormitory, owing to its age and ivy-covered walls, is full of centipedes. They are dreadful creatures. I'd rather find a tiger under the bed. Such a lot of troubles. I didn't hear the rising bell this morning. Then I broke my shoestring while I was hurrying to dress and dropped my collar button down my neck. I was late for breakfast and also for first hour recitation. I forget to take any blotting paper and my fountain pen leaked. In trigonometry, the professor and I had a disagreement touching a little matter of logarithms. On looking it up, I find that she was right. We had stew and potato hash for lunch. Hate them both. They taste like the asylum. The post brought me nothing but bills, though I must say that I never do get anything else. My family are not the kind that right. But this didn't end the day. There's worse to come. It rained, so we couldn't play tennis, but had to go to gymnasium instead. I got home to find that the box with my new blue spring dress had come, and the skirt was so tight that I couldn't sit down. Then, just as I was settling down with a sigh of well earned relief to the portrait of a lady, a girl named Ackerley. A deadly boring girl came to ask if Monday's lesson commenced at paragraph 69 or 70 and stayed one hour. She has just gone. Did you ever hear of such a discouraging series of events? It isn't the big troubles in life that require character. Anybody can rise to a crisis and face a crushing tragedy with courage. But to meet the petty hazards of the day with a laugh. I really think that requires spirit. It's the kind of character that I'm going to develop. I'm going to pretend that all life is just a game which I must play as skillfully and fairly as I can. If I lose, I'm going to shrug my shoulders and laugh. Also, if I win. Anyway, I'm going to be a sport. You will never hear me complain again. Because Julia wears silk stockings and centipedes drop off the wall. Yours ever, Judy. Opportunities for education and learning should be welcomed with open arms at every stage of our lives.